Hi everybody. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to look at setting up a batch render and uh, rendering out your animation. Uh, typically when we're working you might preview render and, and click right here uh, to see what your, your um, scene is looking like. But uh, that's just one image. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, rendering a whole batch of images which would be on our timeline, rendering each frame uh, to then export into QuickTime uh, Quick Pro and turning it into a movie. So we'll do all those steps. So let's follow along. Okay, so um, you can see this scene. I have a I have a camera following the action, and this is what I'll be rendering out. Okay. So uh, I I typically like to go back to frame one. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the uh, render settings button, and we're going to change a few things. So um, you might be in my, Maya Software. This video isn't about Mental Ray or Maya Software. I, right now I'm in Maya Software. The settings are the same for setting up a batch, whether you're in Mental Ray or Maya Software. So let's go down and start uh, changing some of these things that we need. Uh, the image format, I typically render in JPEGs. Okay. And then um, the frame slash animation extension, well, it's, it's on single frame right now. We need to change that. So I like the last selectable one, which will name it, then put an underscore, and then the number. I typically stay away from anything that has dots. Sometimes it gets corrupted. Uh, the dot should be right before the extension, not in between uh, the number and the name. Uh, so right here, the last selectable one, name, underscore, number, dot extension. Okay, scroll a little bit further down. You can see the start frame is at 1, yep. But the end frame, look at your timeline. You know, I have 350 frames that I want to render, so that's going to be my end. So let's see, 350. Scroll a little bit further down. You should have a camera in any animation that you make, so make sure you're rendering that camera. You wouldn't want to render the perspective view. If you have created a camera, then select under renderable camera, select the camera that you've created. And scroll down a little bit more and you know, it depends. If you, if you want a higher quality, uh, larger image, uh, I might boost this up to HD 720. Okay, but feel free to go higher. Uh, and whenever it's animation, keep it at 72 resolution. Everything else is, is fine. Let's keep this. So we're not done yet. I'm going to close this out. Now we have to tell Maya to render uh, this whole batch. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the animation drop down and we're going to go to rendering and under render and typically before I press batch render I like to save my scene okay just in case there was a crash uh, you would have all your settings ready to go for the next one so let's go to render and let's go to batch render so what you'll see down here once you press batch render is uh, you'll see the rendering with Maya software and then in a minute or two, in a few seconds, we're going to see it start to go through each frame and render it out. So let's see, I'll, I'll wait for that to come up so that you can see it. Here it goes. You can see it's rendering out right over here. You can see the number that it's up to. So 26, 27 is going to go pretty darn quick. At this point, I'll probably pause the animation and then explain to you the next steps. Okay, as you can see, the rendering process is completed. So what are we go, where do we go now? Well, what you're going to need is a QuickTime Pro. And we're going to open that up. I'm going to stop here because I want to just explain that this is really for my students. So uh, where you need to go is you would find these, these images when you go to File, Open Image Sequence. You would go to your Documents folder. Then you would go to Maya. Go to the open the folder Projects. Open the folder Default. And then open the folder called Images and select the, the number one image, the, the first one of the batch only, and press Open. Once you do that, you'll see it'll, QuickTime will open it in a batch and then you can save it as a QuickTime movie. So that's how to do it. Uh, thanks a lot.